Hi again, guys. So, I've just reviewed the video for the three saws cutting back to back, and sure enough, the L65 is, when I did the two discs, only fractionally quicker than the 262, so I think there was maybe just two or three seconds in it. And on the single disc cut, you can never tell with the wood, slight changes, but um, maybe two or three seconds quicker on that single disc as well, interestingly. And then the 1010, as we thought, was um, significantly slower, maybe 20 seconds for the disc. So I didn't think that was in line with the 1010 performance because I've used the Danon 55s a lot before and they, they cut fantastically well. So I've measured the rakers, so yes, it 0.6 and 0.6. And these, the rakers were at 0 0.8 to 0 0.85 in terms of the depth. So I've redone the guide bar, done all the rakers down to 0 0.6, as far as I can tell. And I'm going to try it again. I think um, it's revving so hard and the engine's just not working sufficiently, hence the speed of the cut. So we're going to give the 1010 a second chance. If she cuts spectacular, I'll run it again against the L65 and then we'll get... We'll get a more direct comparison between 2.9 and 3.8 horsepower, almost identical guide bars, both 3.8 fits chains. Okay, let's see how she cuts now the rakers are done. Okay, wow, miles quicker. Engine, no, far more suppressed. Obviously the engine's laboring and working harder. So, spectacular accuracy on the discs. So cutting beautifully straight. Um, wow, what a difference. I have no idea how long that is, time-wise. Um, I'm gonna run it back to back with the L65 again. And then I'll review this video and see just what the speed difference is with both bars set the same. So that's both chains fresh, both um, rakers set to the, well, to the same depth, near as I can. Um, all right, here we go. Throttle lock. Joke off. So, ah, trying to go slightly too thin and just shave the, the edge off that disc, but um, although much closer in terms of time-wise and performance, still the L65 is an amazing cutting machine for its age. You think that's up to, um, up to 46 years old and that just annihilates wood. All right, guys, but there you go. That's a fair... Uh, that's a fairer comparison now for the 1010. Um, I've checked the chain, the chain's sharp, and the rakers are now set, I would say, really, really well. And she does pro cut really progressively and really clean. Um, but that extra horsepower is really noticeable. I would have said that was still a two or three or maybe four seconds quicker on that one disc. But miles, miles better performance on the second time round. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye for now.